be late now, though. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, as you saw on that picture, um, this week we lost an absolute fantastic bloke. Um, let's pick in from the Juice Cabin. A uh, good mate of mine, a uh, good mate of Paul McCartney's, and a lot of other people as well. Um, rest in peace, Les. Absolute star. You're going to be really, really missed um, in the vape community. Big love to the family um, and to Liam and everybody else who knew him. So that little bit, bit out of the way. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Three Men and a Vape Show. It is Wednesday, 8pm. It fucking is a great man once said. I don't know where I got that from. <laughs> We've got our normal casters, the wonderful Flat Cat Vapor. How are you, brother? Very well. How are you? I'm absolutely fine. Dabby Dozy. Cool beans. Cool beans. Cool beans, sir. Cool beans. And we're joined also by the wonderful, statistic, the wonderful graph man, the one and only <laughs> <laughs> Vape Milt. How are you doing, brother? No, 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 no. You say sadistic or statistic? Statistic. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be autistic, to be honest. <laughs> I thought it said sadistic. It could have been. The, um, I'm all right. Do you know what? I've been working on a project that you three are involved in all week, and it's very nearly finished. So I'm relieved because I've done about it's taken me about 30, 40 hours, and I've rushed it to high L. So now I feel all very world lifted type shit. I'm good. Oh, and we are joined by our special guest, who's obviously a, a regular on the Three Men and the Vape Show, um, but he's here to promote a little bit something different. We'll be getting into that a little bit later. The wonderful Skin Vape. How are you, brother? I'm good, buddy. I'm getting last minute stuff. Been running about like a headless chicken, but I'm here. I, you, I love it when you're on as well because you're the only one who really has a beer with me. Cheers, Cheers, bro. What are you here for? You've got a new set of underwear coming out, a whole skin <laughs> vapor holes in it, pants and socks. Yeah, just for you, mate. Just for but, you. What they call the skid vapors. <laughs> yeah, the skid. <laughs> skid. No. Yeah. Also, oh. a big love to our wonderful chat. Big love out to the Devil Vapor for sending everybody over. The, the cheeky bum wanks are all out there. Big love to you all. Thank you very much for joining us once again in your sports. Absolutely amazing. And all our wonderful spanners. Well, we have got a jam-packed show for you today. And it is going to go boom, boom, boom. We have not only got to talk about the charity stream this Saturday. We have got your Facebook giveaway. We've got your Rochford Project giveaway. We've got your tech. We've got your deals. It's going to be a jam-packed hour. So sit back, relax, and get ready. Did you see that then? It was like we're on Ready, Steady, Go. Did you rehearse that? That was amazing. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? No, I didn't rehearse it. No, no. <laughs> Just come out of my head. Oh, Here's brilliant. what you could have won. <laughs> so, yeah, what you could have won. So, people on the replay. Now, you did moan that we didn't have um, a, an actual bumper. So, I've sorted as a bumper. Roll the bumper, people on the replay. This one's for all the cool cats on the replay. There you go. Go on, Ali, the wonderful people on the replay. Guys on replay, don't worry. I didn't see the bumper just then, but I will be checking back later to make that sure it's good enough for That is a sexy bumper. That is a sexy bumper. There you go, guys. He got skint's approval. <laughs> no, he did Pam Bryanty popped in. Full moon. Vaping Roach. Now, for anyone that's wondering who Vaping Roach is in chat, it is indeed Darth Vapor. It's changed his name because there was another Darth Vapor. How dare they? Paul Hardwick, Melanie Baxendale, and Rob Stanley. And my favourite comment this week is Rob Stanley's. It's a shame that Gaz is packing up the live shows, but on the upside, it will hopefully result in the death of a pod market. <laughs> <laughs> She's far. I'm going to upset a lot of companies, isn't it? A lot of companies aren't going to be happy. Oh, flat cup are leaving now. It's on no pocket. <laughs> <laughs> that accents are fucking top notch, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll be getting none of them Christmas presents next year, will you? No. <laughs> Get a, yeah, get a different type of box, won't I? <laughs> I did. Uh, ju I just want to say this as well. Thank you so much to everybody who's bought the Baubles merch. I haven't got my T-shirt, but I didn't iron it, so I'm, I'm just wearing this one. But I will be wearing the Baubles uh, for the UK Vape Show tomorrow. Um, thank you so much for everybody's bought Lee, um, Armitage, and, and Lisa, and, and everyone who's had it vaping past. I think I've sold about 15 of them, so thank you so much. Right then. Let's get on. We've got to keep rolling. The wonderful Skint Vapor is here. Um, just want to touch on the Bargain Vape Show. It's going strength to strength, that show. Um, I, I love watching it. It's normally one of the shows that I put on when I'm starting to um, you know, edit and stuff like that. Just leave it on in the background. It's a piss up. It's a good giggle. How's it been going for you? I think it's a lot of shit, and I think that's why it's so successful. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking a fuck-up from start to finish. That's oh, good fun. It's good fun. 
it's really good. The, great bunch of lads on there. Great bunch. And we all got on so well. And we don't take ourselves too seriously. We have some laugh. So shits and giggles. I, I do love the fact as well when we when we when you get towards the end of it, nobody knows what's happening because everybody's leathered. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Some worse than others. Some weeks. <laughs> I like these forfeits as well. These forfeits are brilliant. Oh sh- fucking no, they're not. They're brilliant. They're not. My armpits were fucking stinging for weeks. <laughs> weeks. Did anybody else think you got a little bit too into that um, dressing? Oh, I love that. Here, did you not? When you, you dressed up as what was it? Come on, come on, Arlene. <laughs> Aye. Did you not get into that? What no, I want. I couldn't wait to get out of it. To be honest with you. <laughs> I thought it looked fucking gorgeous. And obviously, <laughs> Lou had splattered all... Um, it wasn't my own. I promise you, it wasn't my own. But she'd splattered all, all that... Someone um, else's. It, it was <laughs> flour. Was it was flour. And she splattered it all yeah. over me. Don't, I know what you were thinking. You, you don't reach that far. Um, splattered all, So it was getting stuck in my hair. So every time I moved, it, it was cracking. And oh, it was horrible. Oh. It's, do you know what? Big, big up to Mrs. S. And as you say, Lou as well. It's the women, the women in their lives... She turned me into Scantina, you know what I mean? And they do all the fucking work, and she did a great job. Absolutely fantastic job. So, this weekend, Saturday, is your big night. Now, we would have had everybody on, but it's very hard to fit everybody on the screen. I would have had everybody from, from the show. Tell the truth. You said you're the only good-looking one, that's why we're getting you on the that rest were true. of the bastards. That was true. We, we said we needed, uh, we needed the good-looking one, mm-hmm. and the one that they can actually understand as well, because you've got Head and uh, McTavish... Whatever they say, we ain't got a clue. I'm but... Scottish. <laughs> I'm the Scottish one. <laughs> yeah, but you were you were the you were the best out of the bad bunch, and I'm joking. I love each no, other. No, no, that's, no. that's what you said to me behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> so you're doing it for um, a really good charity shelter. I remember at school we used yeah. to do a walk to London from Retford um, for, for that. Um, so yeah, do you want to tell us a little bit more about it? Yeah, well, we were coming up with the idea. But you, you, everyone knows we were fucking. I'm one of these people, I think Gaz is like that as well, similar. We come up with ideas and then it sort of grows and grows and minds usually grow into fucking insanity. And my idea was to get all the fucking vape shows involved and do a big charity event for homelessness. Um, but it was it's very fucking complicated and very difficult to get organised, something like that. So then we decided we'll just do it ourselves, 12-hour stream, live stream, and try and raise some money for homelessness at Christmas because what a fuck I've been homeless at Christmas. You know what I mean? On the streets, alone, on your Todd. Yeah, especially and, in this sort of weather as well. No, no it's, it's just, it shouldn't be an issue in this day and age, in this country. But sadly it is. So uh, we're going to suffer for 12 hours. And I mean, I mean, it's not just a lack of sleep, we're going to suffer. We've got some plans and gears in motion for extra suffering. The, I, always, I always like the, the on the subject when it comes to, like you was calling me graph guy and because I was having an argument of a week about it, and we were talking about the statistics of homeless. And I, I just piled in and went, Excuse me, are you talking about the statistics of people that aren't on a register? How can you possibly? You can only go, Oh, we know there's these people are homeless. We, you can't qu- possibly quantify everyone that you don't know. Exactly. So it's just, right, we know these lot are definitely homeless. We'll just guess rest. So and they don't actually collect as well. statistics as well, do they? They don't actually have all the it's charities. Individual charities that really collect all this research and information. It's not the fucking government to do it. They get all the information who's actually homeless and how many people are homeless, and there's a ton of hidden homeless that they don't actually know about. I oh, find yeah. that out doing research for this show, which is mad. I was sitting here today doing research for it, and Mrs. S was there, and, and I was finding out info, like getting statistics and information about homelessness. I'm like, holy shit, do you believe there's fucking, I can't remember it in front of me, but there's thousands of kids that are regarded as homeless in this country right now. Thousands, fifteen thousand it was, or something like that, that they're regarded under as homeless, with families, households, mums and dads. Some of them, not all of them, but that's fucking crazy. I, I, this might sound a bit dodgy, but I used to know a lot of the homeless people in Sheffield because I used to, if I had ten minutes, I'd stand and talk to the big issue guys and stuff, and then you get to know people and so on and so forth. And and it's amazing the. What, what people think, people always think people are homeless because they deserve it or because they're alcoholics or the drug is. Mm-hmm. But quite often that's not the case. And a lot of time people turn to drugs or alcohol because of being on the homeless. Mm-hmm. I put it this way. If you lived on the street and you were sleeping on some sort of underpass one night, you've got one pound from what people have chucked to you that day. Are you going to save that pound up so eventually you'll be able to get into a squat, uh, into um, an hostel? 
Or are you going to think, sorry, I'm going to go and buy a litre of cheap cider and knock myself out so I can sleep tonight? Because I know yeah. I'd be buying some cheap cider. And a lot of people don't quite get that. And then people knock people down as well. I can remember coming out of a concert and there was someone playing a flute and people were chucking money in. And this lass says, uh, oh, he should go and get a real job. I said, well, how can you pay to see a band and then tell him he needs to get a real job? It's the exact same thing, apart from he ain't got a crowd of people watching him. Mm-hmm. So it's really weird how people perceive things without actually knowing the whole details, if you know what I mean. Exactly. So there's there's actually a, a lad who's on um, face, uh, not on YouTube, and I've forgotten what he's... I think his is something to do with skin. Uh, Hacks, London Hacks, his name is, and he he tries to live a day on a pound, and he goes to different uh, oh, seen that. places. Yeah. And he, he was actually in Sweden, and they have a thing called Farker or something like that, where you can actually go, everybody can have a cup of coffee or a pastry, anybody, and you've just got to say this, and they give it you. So it was on about that certain people can go into 24-hour McDonald's, but as soon as they fall asleep, they get kicked out. So there's a lot of them who nod off and they throw them out. And then there's a load of them that are outside who've just come to that point of thinking, I want a good night's sleep. I don't want to be kicked out of anywhere. And they're just in the door holes. That's it. Freezing. I mean, it's a modern society nowadays. There is no way that any of that shit should be happening. No, not nowadays, and especially in the UK. Especially in the UK, we're a, we're, a, we're a rich country, and nobody should be without a home, and nobody should be sleeping in a, a, a shop doorway in Christmas Day on their own with no nobody. It's fucking madness. And, it, madness. Uh, and a lot of people are ignorant to think it's not our problem, but then you've also got to look at the further social and economic impacts that almost has. For example, uh, drug crime and and, and all that these people are easy targets for someone to go, come here, I can give you an house and loads of money if you'll just do this. You know what I mean? The trafficking, the slave labor and all that can breed off homeless people quite easily. Obviously, if you've got a 70 year old homeless guy, they're not going to breed on him. But, but yeah, I mean, it, it does lead to a greater problem um, over time. So it, it really does affect the entire country. I don't know about you, Flat Cap, as well. They, they, they say about that. Well, they, they, must, they must have their own problems. They, they don't want an house. They can get an house if they want it. Um, I, I know it's if they've got problems. Now, there's a, obviously a lot of mental health problems. There's a lot of drugs and drink problems that are in it. Do you think it should be a part of where somebody should actually be there to support them and help them? Well, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I um, I years back I used to work in the Young Offenders Institute, and uh, like skin, it brings about when you're saying about how many, how many homeless kids are. A lot of the kids in there, kind of 14, 15 year olds, had left home and were out on the streets, and then got in trouble for drugs and drink and all that kind of stuff. Ended up in the Young Offenders Institute, and half of them weren't bad kids. They just, just you know, one of them they just got unfortunate with where their life took them, and they couldn't get out of it. They were they were stuck. They had nowhere to go. They were on the streets and. Well, Harley was saying, they ended up getting involved in, in that kind of stuff, and it just, it's just a slippery slope. So the, the, the help's just not there for a lot of these people. Now, a lot of these kids as well are in foster care. A lot of people don't realise that once they reach 18, they can end up on the streets so easily because the government washed their hands from them. I've actually I used to drive taxis, and they used to take foster kids back and forth to school and stuff like that, back to their foster home and then school. And a lot of these kids, after they reach 18 years old, the government don't have any, uh, they don't have any responsibility to do anything with these kids, and they end up on the streets. It's fucking mad. That's terrible, isn't it? Madness. And this this country it should not be happening. So, so the I know um, Jules, Ma- Jules Mama Vapes and Steve Dillygaff Porter that they mm-hmm. they go out they do stuff at Christmas for that do, as well. Yeah. Uh, I know they've done it for quite a number of years. Uh, they, they, obviously, Shelter do the best to try and help, don't they? I think with shelter, the thing I like about shelter is a lot of them, a lot of homeless charities are going out and try and help the, the homeless people that are on the streets. And it isn't just the people in the streets, guys, as well. It's the people that are in hostels and families that are in hostels that have maybe been private rented and the landlord has decided to sell the place and they've had to get out. And these They may not be in the streets, but they're still fucking homeless in these hostels. And these hostels aren't very nice places at all with kids and all that in them and single people that are on drugs and drink and whatever and they're mi- mixing with these people as well and i think that shelter what they do as well they they help people like that but they also try and change the law and the, through legislation and stuff like that they try and change all that as well which is needing done something badly needs done 
Well, we have topic I was just reading of... Tolmac's thing. I, I, I think Bill's um, hidden by accident, I think. Um, uh, I can't do hostels because of people have a different issue to myself. Half of them want to mm-hmm. get you involved into drugs, which is a bigger bigger no-no for me. Yeah, because obviously people going into hostels, I think yeah. Bill did that by accident. Um, uh, the People trying to get into hostels, there's obviously other people with lots of other problems in there. Normally, they're all sleeping in one room, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Oh, no, well, the hostel, they call them B&Bs. The council will call them B&Bs. I've actually got experience of this uh, in my life. And the council will call them B&Bs. And it's rooms. Everybody's got rooms. And you've got families in a room and you've got single people in a room. And some of the people have got drug problems and drink problems and don't give a shit, you know what I mean? So these kids and families are mixing alongside. They don't separate them. They don't separate people that have got issues. And then you've got mental health issues. We've all got different mental health issues in this one place as well. You know what I mean? All this is a mix of madness in a hostel. And that's what the council do for temporary accommodation. And it's, it, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It's crazy. It's not only about Christmas Eve. It's about winter. Because you think about it, if you're coming into January, February, it's going to be sub-zero. Yep. Um, and there's people going to be sleeping on the street. So why are you going to get out of your car and come into your house and you think, fucking hell, it's freezing out there. Well, at least you're not sleeping out, out on pavement in rain. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Of course, Samantha's just said a good point about COVID this year and the, the, the problems mm-hmm. that must have caused for these shelters and, you know, all, all these kind of places that they're not, you know, not COVID secure. So it must be probably even worse. And the amount of people that have lost their jobs this year and, you know, the whole mess that comes with that. So it's probably, I mean, not to say skin, I don't know what the statistics are this year, but it's probably worse than it has been in a long while. They haven't released this, the statistics for this year yet for homelessness, but they've got them for 2019, 2020. If you watch show on Saturday, I'm going to try and get all this information out. I'm going to put a video together to try and get that out and inform people what the situation is. What it's, try and give them a picture of how bad it is. And it is bad. I found that out, as I say today, I did a lot of research and it is fucking bad. It was really bad. <laughs> Bit of here in the budget. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Why That's the answer. Like a... Vapor, also Bigfoot Vapor. Nice to see you, buddy. And obviously the vaping heads in. Have you got anyone on the show who's willing to go out in the dark of night and be on the show and go in there? Uh... I thought you doing that myself, but um, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think. I don't know. I don't know. It's something I thought you did. Not not rec- recording it, pre recording it, and then playing it during the show. Um, get out in Inverness or something doing that. It's whether the people are going to want to do that, you know what I mean? As well, you've got that issue in the back of your mind. Are the homeless people going to be open to that idea? I, yeah, remember, I, was... I went with uh, Rich, one of my mates, to Leeds just for a, a bit of a change in a beer. And the amount of people who were just, the, however, amount of lampposts there were, there were people sat there begging and, and, and were homeless. Mm-hmm. A lot of them were on drugs, you can just see it, they were slumped over. In fact, one person, you know them tie wraps you get, them bungee straps, he actually bungee strapped himself to the, the thing so he didn't fall forward. Do you know the best con is a um, big issue? The, the first guy I talked to from Big Issue, I didn't see him for about two years, and then we were out on Sheffield one night. And as people were walking past this homeless guy, like, oh, my mate went to cash machine, I'm just going to be having a fag or a vape or whatever I was doing at the time. And I looked down, and it was this dude that I talked about Big Issue. So I'm like, oh, dude, what happened? What happened to Big Issue? Blah, blah, blah. And he went, I quit. I said, you what? He went, no, nah, no, nah, I earn much more money sat here at a night, and then I find phones and I find after. Mm. I am far, far better off begging than I am selling the Big Issue. Because what a lot of people don't realise about big issues, it's self-employed. So you buy the magazines for one pound and sell them for one pound fifty. So you don't you know, don't quote me on the numbers here, but it's something like that. It's, it's not a whole lot to the seller. So you, you're earning fifty p a pound off a magazine. So you've got to sell ten of them a day. Bear in mind, everyone that walks past you ignores you. So you sell ten and you made ten pound profit a day. Cracking. No, no it's, it baffles if you lose me. That about, money, you can't buy your magazines next day either. So you're well, fucked. What baffles me about a big issue is we, we moved up to Highlands about five years ago or something. And the same guy that's been selling a big issue for five years has been in the same street corner. And you're like, he can't still be homeless. I don't know how the big issue works, but can he still be homeless after five years of doing the same thing? Well, they actually have to buy the magazine. And I think, so the magazine might cost them, say, 50 pence, and then they sell them for a pound or whatever they can actually get them for. 
Mm. Old Mac said it's one fifty for three pounds, but you have to buy the magazine before you sell it. You don't get ten magazines to start off. Oh, with. You right. have to buy as many magazines as you can and then go and sell them before it runs out of date. Yes, I don't know. I don't. I don't really under. I don't, I've not looked any big issue right enough. I don't know enough about it. Well, the guy who owns the big issue is a multi-millionaire. So <laughs> is he? That doesn't surprise yeah. me. Was he a multi-millionaire before that? I, I, I don't know. I think he owns a few businesses, but. Hmm. Maybe that'll be something to do in, in, in the future's skin. I'll be up for that, going and uh, getting a load of big issues and trying to sell them and just see what it's like for a day. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be good. That. I think it's something, this almost charity thing, I think it's something maybe BVL will do at another stage later on and organise it. But I think we'll continue doing it. It's a good, I mean, I'm a skint vapour, so it's a good idea for my channel, I think, especially because I'm, it's a financial issue, really, homelessness a lot of the time is, or it's not only financial, but a lot of it is financial. Do you know what I mean? So, Obviously, uh, a lot of the people who are on the street would be smokers as well, wouldn't they? Obviously, they, they, they might have, some of them might have yep. underlying problems. It might be a, a thing of maybe getting a, a few pod kits together with enough supplies, maybe even if yep. it were just for that week, um, to maybe help them. Because I, I watch a lot of them, and I'm sure you've seen them yourself. They're looking around for the tab ends because obviously smoking so costs so much. Um, be good of a company get involved in that. Good idea yeah. of a company to say well, they did it. Anonymous, um, the hacktivism group, started, it actually started in the UK. They started Op Safe Winter. And the entire point of Op Safe Winter was to spread the propaganda of to help homeless people, you don't have to give them money. While you're in town and you go in Primark, buy three extra pairs of socks and pass them out to homeless people on your way home. You don't have to, because people always go, oh, they're just going to buy alcohol. Well, you don't have to give them money. You can give them a hot drink or socks or a sleeping bag or all that. You don't have to give them money. But just to go back to what Flat Cap says, you can't do that flat cap because you have to be registered. They even have a guy that goes around to make sure you're on the correct pitch and oh, all that other okay. shit. You're designated to a place. Do you know what I hate the most is these Instagrammers and people on Facebook who get, who go and buy a hot drink for them and then they get their phone out and they go, I'm just, uh, just giving yeah. this coffee to a homeless... Like it's, it's, it well, be that's one of the things when you were saying about getting out and filming and recording or whatever it is. I didn't want that either. Do you know what yeah, I mean? I think if I'm going to do a good thing, I'd rather just do it. I don't want to put it out there. And That's a good point, in. yeah. It's a, difficult, it's a difficult line, isn't it? Yeah, what, what, when we do it on TV, you don't Steve, see... Sorry. When we do it on TV, you don't see all the awkward bits, do you? You only see the one that were willing to do it. Exactly. Uh, Stevie oh. and Jules were saying that they go out and take pod kits out. They do. Yeah. And also um, feminine um, products as well, which you, you don't think about that, do you, for women? We're homeless. You know, in Scotland, you can get them for free now. The first country, I think, is it? The first country in Europe? Is it? Yeah, I don't know. But we've started female, any women can get free sanitary products for free. Yeah. Yep. That's why Scotland is, of course, the best country. <laughs> I'm just going to leave that right there. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we will be getting back on. I'm hoping Nightbot is going to start working. It is now. Um, there is the actual Just Giving page, um, and it should be coming up every couple of minutes to get over there and support Skin um, for Shelter and for his live stream. I'm going to be a part of it. I don't know if Flat Cap's going on with 8 mil. I'll, I'll be jumping on uh, to give him a good old support on Saturday. So it will be a good laugh. No All for a good cause. Remember that. Right, we've got the Facebook giveaway, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get this one out of the way. Um, big shout out to Matt Hardy, our Facebook leader. He's done an absolute corking job. Thank you so much to all the group members as well who have joined in on this. Um, big shout out um, again to Matty for sorting it out. Um, I can't remember what you're winning. I think you've got a Fours, you've got a Nest, you've got 100 mil of juice, T-shirt and some other little bits and bobs. Um, so, I'm, I'm backwards way around, so I need to get that to there. Giveaway on. There we go. You can still hear us. So, all your names are here. I'll just go up and down so you can see. There is 18 entries. I'm going to give them a good old shuffle so you can see that they are shuffled about. There we go. And we are going to press it. Again, if you're not on the Facebook group, get yourself over there. We put extra videos up. We do all sorts of good giggles on there. Good luck to everybody. This is for the winner. And the winner is... <laughs> oh, bloody hell. <laughs> There's no 
what I can do about it. I pressed it. <laughs> Good, congratulations, Liz. You have won. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Well she done, Liz. You have won for a bit, the old, old Liz. So, yeah, Liz has won. There's gonna be no way, Matt Hardy's. <laughs> Liz, you have won. Thank you so much for everybody who got involved. We will be, after Christmas, doing a couple more um, uh, best group members uh, sort of thingy, whatever you have to do, so we don't get lobbed off. Um, thank you very much, everybody. Right then. Down to flat cap now. This is the part where we talk about what people actually vape on. And again, this is in the Facebook group. So you get to be able to put your picture up and uh, we get to have a little look what you're vaping on. I haven't got a bumper yet, guys. Yeah. Okay, let me share my screen. Yeah, it's quite good, actually. This is the second week in a row. Everyone's been really good putting in their hand checks and stuff and a little description. Thank you for the description as well, people. It's lovely. This is Ashley Back, and he's on the Vaporesso Gen. I think that's the original Gen. Uh, Fat Rabbit on top, and he's on some, on top, and he's on some Zeus Juice Myth Lemon and Lime. Lemon still lime. really good, that, though. I still love the uh, the mod. Yeah, oh, yes. It is a good mod. That's another tenner. <laughs> <laughs> Gareth George oh no wait can you see that all right Aiden by the way yeah I can see that perfect so Gareth George is on the Odin 200 um, and then he's got the Obia oh no wait a second no sorry so like he's got the Dead Rabbit RDA on the Odin but it's one of the clear top caps that's what threw me off and the Freemax yep. free Max, Maxis 100 with the Phobia RDA ooh and a nice bottle of Jack Daniels behind there as well. Yeah, <laughs> I hope he's having a little bit of a tipple on that. Now, I see you, Mr. B. This was my hand check earlier at work. I'm putting mine up here because it, yeah, for fun. It's the um, Tofo Cog and the Old Trainer Alien. And I've got some Got Salts Tropical Red. So that Got Salts is gorgeous. It is good, that Got Salts, yeah. That and the peachy one's really nice. I do um, like that mod, though. I quite like the clear one. I like the clear one. Mm. I like the look of that. Um, Kenny Thompson, he said himself, what a setup. Uh, is the Ragnar and Hadron, he's got some Bubba Vapes oh. Cherry Cake Dodges. Cherry Cake Dodges sounds really nice. Yeah. That is a sexy setup. He, Kenny must be a happy man right now. <laughs> on to Lee Armitage, the lovely Lee Armitage. He's on the Deja oh, Vu DV7 mod with the Baron RDA, and he's on some King Strawberry Jam. A lot of people like that strawberry jam. A lot of people did, wasn't that too keen on the King's Juice on certain ones of them, but a lot of people like that that jam. Yeah, I haven't tried any of them, to be fair. Hmm. Did, did, did I see did, Jackson's did, vape reviews? Uh, Louise Back. Louise Back is on the Vaporso GTX1 with the slide tank on top. Um, watch your Project Black Vine. Decent. Decent, that is. I like that. I'm not a fan of the slide tank, though. Have you guys had the slide? Yeah, I've got it here. Yeah, I quite liked it. I, I can't get on with this live. I, I remember when I first, when it first ever came out and I got it and I couldn't take the top cap off. I didn't realise it had the child when they meant childproof. They got that the actual oh, uh, the little, yeah, it's got a little bit tip. on the bottom of the drip tip. Yeah, yeah. Mister Matt Hardy himself, the wonderful man. He's on the lovely Vape Smart a twenty one seven hundred click fit mod called Olive. He's got an Asgard thirty mil on top of that with some Staggerton coils point one one, and in the on little bit in the version. 1.5 secret source. Very, very nice. Big love, very Mike. Nice. The wonderful Matty, NG Vapes himself. Oh, how are you feeling better, brother? Big love, Matty. That's um, nice. Yeah, so this is a Mad Modders DNA 250 Lipo with uh, what he says is the Elite V2 paint job. He looks very smart. Mm. Uh, and he's got the Armageddon MFG Omec RTA on top, which looks massive. Mm. Some point one aliens from Sub Zero Coils. And he's obviously on. Is that that's the right squad black edition, isn't it? Number one. I don't know what the numbers were. I have no clue. Um, Raymond Grant. Raymond Grant stuck this picture in the group and said, need a time machine for this one. <laughs> Ooh. I have no clue, but he does have some lovely setups behind Either him. Either a time machine or some wood. I don't know what <laughs> it is. that? I have no idea. That looks like something a... you get dust out from your computer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is. It's got a little lanyard thing coming off of it. But it does have a G-Class behind him. There looks like there might be a billet box up there. There's a creme hill. Li, di, 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 di. I see you're my on the stuff behind it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's got some nice little setups there. He's got a Drag X going on, an Aegis, a, a Gen. A, yeah, Gen. 
Cloud Flask. There's a Lux PM40 on the top. Yeah, it's got loads of loads of mods, and he's sport for choice. Um, Ricky Wetton. Ricky Wetton. Oh, I love Ricky. Big love, bro. Ricky's on the Cthulhu Hester mod with his Spire Ninth Tank, and he's on some 20 milligram menthol nick salts. Lovely. Lovely. Ryan Boyce. Du -du -du. Ryan Boyce. He's on the OG Gen, as he put himself, the OG Gen with the Asgard 30 mil on top. And he's got some, I don't know what it is, but it's from Fallout Vape e liquid. So it's probably quite new. I don't think that's been out very long. So hopefully he's enjoying yeah, a bit that. Of overhang on it, huh? There's a little bit. Yeah, not, just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. It, it, only slightly. Yeah, it's nothing. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> um, Samantha Goddard. Yay. He's got EVL lovely, Mama. He's got lovely painted nails. They're all glittery and Christmassy. Look beautiful. <laughs> On to the next one. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> Geek Vape <laughs> Solo with the Pandora RTA. He's got some cool uh, Cola Cool salts there. Some homemade. Nice to see. She's yep. definitely, I, I, I don't know Samantha very well, but I'm guessing she loves Christmas because she's got a whole Christmassy cup out and she's got all <laughs> yeah. going on. Brilliant. Um, last but not least, no, not last but not least, I've got another one after this. Uh, Sarah Lou with another gorgeous picture. She's good at these. Uh, the Armatech V1 flavor RDA and some goose juice. Goose juice? I uh, know, that looks cool. Have you, you played that game, the goose game, the, uh, the, name, the game with no name or something and you're a goose and you go around annoying people it's brilliant it's such a good game uh and yeah lastly reedy now if you remember last week reedy uh we weren't really interested in his uh setups because he had a completed rubik's cube behind him he did well i made him send me this today <laughs> he's completed two hey reedy he's completed two i don't know what he's how do you yeah, know he's completed some stickers them. have definitely been moved yeah, and he's bought them to a shop, what? Possibly. Just not moved yeah. them. I'm hoping, really, next week we see six completed, please. Oh, the video. <laughs> you want the video? I'm actually doing it. And that is everyone's handshakes. Thanks very much. That's absolutely brilliant. Uh, Jackson Vape Reviews. Little bro, any good banana ice cream flavours out there that are decent? I'm not quite sure. I've not heard of it. It's very hard to get banana right, if I'm honest. Why would you want banana? I've had a couple of pineapple ice creams from... Um, it might be an own boy or someone like that. But not so just flush your toilet? Hmm? I could hear somebody flushing the toilet or something. No. Must be just in my house. <laughs> maybe, it might be Harley, that's a green screen. Maybe he's sat on the loo. Maybe, <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, I'm not. That, that was skimped before. <laughs> I was. I was a bit too he, he was making room for the show. Yes. Right, people. Thanks so much for getting uh, putting them all in. That's going to be a regular weekly thing now on the show. We'll be putting that in the group so you can all show us your hand checks and we'll be getting that all out. It's nice to see. I think it's a good little bit of interaction as well. Right then, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to go straight into our deals. So, I've got the bumper. Play the bumper, fatty. Okay. Custy, it's a deals in a way. That's the Vicky Vapor. Deals of the week going early, bro. You know what I did then? I changed my screen all and forgot to share screen and I was just sat there anyway. <laughs> Awkward. The <laughs> RS2 D22 RTA by Inner Kane. It's an MTL, but it does say that it's not... It can be used as restricted detail. It's an MTL RTA, basically. There you go. It's down from 27... or well, 28 quid to... Tw Start again. It's down from 28 quid to 18 squids. I think it looks pretty. A lot of people said good things about it. I like it. The Guardian 40 Watt by uh, Smart Folks. Uh, £24 to £20. It is 1,600 milliamp hour battery, fires at 40 watt, available in all the colours shown. Beautiful. It looks very little. I don't like it when the mod's as big as the tank. It just don't mm. look right. No, it looks ginormous, that tank on there, doesn't it? <laughs> not big. It's not a small gun. It's big hands, Barry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Four lions. If you haven't seen it, it's a cracking film. RPM <laughs> 160 kit by Smock. £46 to £23. Dual 18650, I believe. Uh, 160 watt. RPM. There you go. Good flavour. Ugly as shit. <laughs> it it is, yeah. It? It's not the most good looking of mods, is it? No. 
Uh, just smock on it as well. Ugh. Talking of smock, we've got the RPM 160 again. But as you'll notice, that were £23. It's £22.50 on eSig 1. So there you go. Unless you want colours, because we've only got silver carbon fibre on eSig 1. And we've got them all on uh, Evolution. So you could save another 50p. Smock, Scar. <laughs> See, I like smock off a lot, but I've got a lot of smock on. Scar 18 mod, 18650 Joule. It goes up 230 watt. Available in all colours. Down from £89 to £89, pound, you tit. That it's hasn't been out wagend. very long, has it? Um, it's like the Legend wannabe one. No, it yeah. came out at the beginning of the year, didn't it? You know, it's, it's not a bad mod, really. It is literally an Aegis Legend. So, But Aegis Legend is still quite pricey. So if you're on more of a budget, that is a, as close yeah. to an Aegis as you can get. Like the dual battery version, definitely. Is it as sturdy as a Legend? Yeah, it's solid. It feels almost is the it? same. It's Yeah, it's almost the same. Yeah. That's really good. I, I, You're trying to say that without saying it's the same. It's, it's the same, but it's not the same, but it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't remember what score I reviewed, but they're a little bit thinner, aren't they? Not what? Not I, I think, have side-by-side side pictures of it, but it's pretty much... There's not a lot in it. But the, the feel of it is slightly different. But, but like you said, they are pretty much identical. It's a slightly softer, rubbery feel, but not massive, yeah. 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 The Segeli 2-1 Fog starter kit, £53 down to £39. Pound. Pardon me. Pound. That's only just come out. Yeah, it's yeah. not been long out, has it? We had that on tech about a month ago, I think. And that's gone down to what? 38 I thought, oh, you, yeah. said, I thought you said tech. <laughs> Flat caps get tech. I don't know. You do say tech down there, down in England, don't you? Still got a That's like credit. Oh, yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or he's been camping. <laughs> <laughs> You've heard it here first, kids. Flat caps got ticks. <laughs> <laughs> Small night, 80 watt TC pod kit. Uh, it's single 18650, 40 watt, £40 pound to 23, £22.50. I'm sorry, guys. My numbers just aren't working for me today. £40 to £22.50. You know why, don't you? Because you've been counting 1 to 12 all day. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I will really counting, teaching Lily to count to 20 earlier, so that'll be it. Be, uh, I will learn him with her, obviously. <laughs> what did you do? Have to take your shoes and socks off? Van de Vape, Kaylin M, all in one, 70 watt pod kit. Single 18650. I've never actually seen this. Have you? I've, yeah, I've have reviewed you guys... it. It's not just a pod kit. That's got a rebuildable deck as well. You can either use it as mesh or you can use it as um, with coils. And it's also, you can use it as a pod. And it, the, the way the, the pod works, it runs as a an RDTA. You know, with the actual coi um, rods? Yeah. How much has that gone down to? From £80 to 36 yeah, you can roughly pick them up about 60 quid. But obviously this one's a bit cheaper. The, do you think the normal price for Aiden is a bit much? You get, Yeah and no. You get a hell of a lot in the actual kit itself. Okay. Um, because it's, a, it's not only is it a pod, um, you could, it's obviously interchangeable coils. You, you can then do it with mesh. You can then do it with a normal coil. Um, it, it, and it was very well built. It looks it. It was very well built and it looked really nice. I had the silver one. I think actually Darth Vapor's got it now. Ooh. Or or I'm I'm down to the roach. Did it come out last year? Uh, middle of this year. Did it, I, was say, I knew it relatively new because the Kaylin M's relatively new, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, Mr. B, it's a bit waffly. <laughs> <laughs> very <that> versatile. <laughs> so new vaping's back on game still. Obviously not as much as they were, but you've got all sorts. The thing that caught my eye was at the top, so like a little proves in case that catches your eye. Um, there's the hardware. And I think we saw most of that last week, didn't we? The thing that really caught my eye was a Vaporown Juice £1.50. But I had, I had a quick look online, and although there is sites selling it for between 10 and £15, there is quite a few that sell it for about three pound. Right. I've got to admit, I think I've got that one in stock, and I right don't know what price is. <laughs> so, <laughs> professional, come to Vape Mill, guys. We know what we're doing. 
Speaking of 8mm, I've just added the Aegis Boost Pro Kit, which you've reviewed it, haven't you, And I'm halfway yep. through reviewing it, and I think it's a right load of cocker shit. It's the exact same as the Pro. Herbert is a plus, in my well, opinion. Well, you see, I, I, I reviewed it as, obviously, I never got the Pro, and I never had the Boost, so I, I, I reviewed it as the first time of me having a Boost thingy. The flavour's corking on it. There's no wrong with the flavour. So, hang on, hang on, Harley. So, it's an absolute load of crap, but buy it from my store, please. <laughs> no, but the device ain't crap, but in regards to the plus, if you look at the specs across from them, the yeah. pretty much, you can even use the same ta- uh, the same pod. You can, yeah, but the, the pod's bigger, the pod's 6 mil, and obviously it's the, it's the different coils, you've got the P-series coils, you're not using the boost coils. Yeah, but if if the pods are cross-compatible... No, you then... can't, you can't put the Pro onto the boost, uh, so you can't put the Pro on the boost or the plus. No, oh, can you use the old G coils that they No, have. you can't you can't put the pro onto the uh, plus or the boost, but you can put the boost and the plus onto that. Oh. Uh, I, I knew it was co- upwards compatible, but I thought it was downwards as well, but obviously no. not. Anyway, that's from £41 to £30. Like I say, it's not a shit kit, it is a good kit. I just think because they've changed the user interface as well. The, yeah, it's 100 what? It should have been a 21700. Yeah. Again, do you know, if, if it had been 21700, I'd have gone fair play, but I think. They've, they've not done enough, in my opinion, to to class it. If it have upped the battery, I'd have gone, that's justified. But, hey uh I added something else as well earlier, and I can't remember what it were. All right, well, the you will crown the sub tank. 31 quid to 22 squid. Ooh. What, is that five? That's the new one. Yeah. Oh, I think we, I'll be getting in touch with you for that. <laughs> they keep, keep an eye out as well guys because over the coming weeks throughout December and January I'm going to be banging out auctions and I'm going to be banging out deals so do keep a close eye on my Facebook page hey Darth's back that might not yes. be Darth <laughs> Darth's back he might not be Darth <laughs> oh. he might, we, we might have a uh, <laughs> yeah be just poor old Darth right let's get quickly on to the tech thanks a lot for the deals brother you're an absolute star flat cap let's play the bumper flat caps tech report don't forget uh, ladies and gentlemen straight after this we have got the Rochford giveaway right there's there's only really five items so I can rattle through this pretty quick tech's pretty quiet this time of year so it is what it is um, starting off with the damn bait doom x RTA ooh 24 millimeter tables up to 26, as you can see there. It's a mesh RTA, but can also take coils as well. Capacity wise, quite interesting. You've got the two mil, the short little glass, then you've got a 5.5 taller straight glass, and there's also an eight mil bubble glass. So big capacity. And this does have bottom airflow. So something new from Dambate. Well, they've just, is it the mongrel they've just brought out? The mongrel RDA, yeah. Yeah. Have they, you tried been... the mongrel yet? No. no. Mm. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's Apparently it's good. 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 Yeah. Good, good squonking idea. Yeah. Uh, a bit noisy there, apparently. But apparently that depends how you're building it wrong. If it's noisy, you're building it wrong. Right. So um, just a little update on the Inakin Scepter pod kits. They brought out this new edition, which is apparently a better mouth to lung vape than before. More restriction. Anyway, this is a 1400 milliamp power micro USB port for the charging um, it's yeah, made for mouth lung and restricted direct lung. Two mil or three mil capacity, and yeah, it's got replaceable coils. Uh, uh, it's a pretty tidy little kit, to be fair. Nicely made. Uh, another pod system, and then that is pod systems done. Sorry, China. This, China. Is, the, <laughs> this is a Nord 4. The Nord 4. 80 watts. This is like the same size as the other ones, pretty much, pretty much the same size. 2,000 milliamp hour battery. It's got a little airflow adjustment wheel thingy on it. Four and a half mil capacity. They're using, they've ditched the Nord coils now, even it's called the Nord. They're now just using the RPM and the RPM2 coils. So you get two different pods for the two different coils. USB so so they've moved away from the Nord then? They're not using the Nord coils? No, they've ditched the Nord. So I'm, I'm imagining they'll probably use like the 0.6 or the 0.8 RPM coils, more of your mouth to lung. And then, um, yeah, the RPM2 calls for the high capacity stuff. That probably means, you know, they're going to stop doing it because the Node 2 came with an RPM pod and a Node pod. Yeah, it did, yeah. So I'm, but I'm right up in the dunk because for 1.4 regulars are massive sellers for me. Oh. Still. Hopefully they'll just keep producing maybe one of those things, you know. Mm. Oh, Bunny, yes, you are still waiting on that RPM. <laughs> I have to send it over, Bunny, sorry. 
Um, and two more RTAs. Starting off with the Watofo Profile M. Very short RDA, 24.5 millimeters in width, but it's only, well, you can see there, it's 27.8 mil height. That's not including in the drip tip, which the drip tip is 57 millimeters. <laughs> it's not really. Anyway, uh, this is, yeah, it's got the usual profile mesh deck, 3.1 mil capacity or 4 mil with the bubble glass. Um, and it's got top airflow. Have they still stayed with that where with the spring where you push it down to put your? It's got the same ceramic spring loaded block. It's got the the typical profile deck. It's just a very short, very small uh, profile basically, but a, a, a kind of traditional RTA as such. It's not like the Unity and the the RDTA. It's just a straight up small RTA. Um, I can imagine even with a four mil bubble glass, you're going to rinse through juice. But um, yeah. I see, Dean. And another RTA. Now, I don't have loads and loads of information on this yet. I don't have the size or nothing, but this is the ZQ Trio RTA, and it's called Trio because it has triple airflow. You can see up the top there, you've got one airflow adjustment, and then there is two rings at the bottom as well where you can kind of adjust your airflow from three different positions. Ooh. Um, so top and bottom airflow? Top, it's got top and then two bottom airflow adjustments. Spinny wow. really things. So it's got a lot a lot of airflow going on. And it's uh, a but it's still mouth to lung. lung. Yeah. yeah. You wouldn't expect that from a mouth to lung, would you? No, it's quite a lot of airflow, isn't it? For well, quite a lot of options. Um the deck on this, I did see a video briefly uh, a little while ago. The deck the deck reminds me a little bit of like the Wasp Nano, single coil, quite small. Uh, it doesn't, Dean, it doesn't look like it has airflow inserts, to be honest. It looks like it's all just done from the, the three airflow adjustments. So I imagine that must make it quite tall. Yeah. And I'll just look at that drip that. tip. Mm. Yeah. So a few RTAs to expect um, in the new year. Same three airflow control rings. I can only see two. And what's up? Great. Yeah, what's up? The, the nailed one here, obviously, they've uh, you can't see the holes, but mm. I've watched a video and there's definitely three. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. strange. Is there any RDTAs or are you discriminating? Uh, no, I only do, I only do tanks and pod kits. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is it, that is it. It's very quiet, minute. That is it for tech, I'm afraid. There's very, very quiet. Thank you very much, brother. Absolutely corking. We'll put the header back on. Oh, and just adjust us a touch a little bit. Before we get to... There we go. Moves down a bit. There we go. We're all nicely done. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, for your Rochford giveaway, a big shout out to Jay again. Um, he's an absolute star. I love him to bits. Um, you get a chance to win Daniel Flavours. Everybody's just raving about him. Absolute corking. Flavours. Stick. Skinting. Only put it in once because if you don't, then you get shot in the head or something. I've never tried them. They're not shot. Never tried. Have you? Them. No. Everybody raves about them. I've never tried. I'm too skint to fucking buy them. <laughs> I'm too stingy. <laughs> right, people. If you do get put into the giveaway and it doesn't quite, it's it's doing its funny thing, you know, like it normally does. We'll sort it out. So. Don't what forget, next it? week, ladies and gentlemen, is our Christmas show, and unfortunately, it's Flat Cap's final show. Ooh. That will be, um, yeah, that's my last, last, last show. Yeah, which I'm absolutely gutted. He's um, an asshole. Mate, I, I, just, to, just to go back over there, I, I totally understand what you're doing, and I wish you all the best, and we'll talk a bit more about it next week, but we're going to stay upbeat. Upbeat. Let's go back on to skin. So, tell us all the times. Uh, just remember, people in chat, it has been coming up, so you can donate. Uh, it does say, please check our please if you do can donate. Computer talk. The donations up there in Nightbot. Tell us a little bit more, Skin. You can also donate uh, some get shit, vape stuff. We're going to do a, we're going to do, try and do, got tons of get shirts during the night. Uh, one an hour. We're hoping for one an hour. Uh, we're putting a lot of stuff in. The casters ourselves, there's, we'll also, I've also already got stuff. People send me stuff. So if you've got vape stuff to send, you can co contact with me or some of the other casters, one of the other casters, or BVL Mama, and we'll sort that out. What's the freebies? We have done it before when we've gone on to 
Uh, well, I think you've done it a few times as well, uh, Flat Cap, where we've just come on and said, look, we've got some bits and bobs and then you can do whatever you want. Right, you can do that as well, yeah. Uh, because you guys will be on as well, wouldn't you? You'd go yeah, well, and join I, us I, in the madness. My, my sort of, I think I might come on a little bit later, about 12, 1 o'clock-ish, then go and... Very good. I did see any 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 reviewers have sent messages, people inviting them on if they're on their way to the toilet during the night or something like that, and they fancy jump in, jump in, <laughs> if they're... they're Fancy a, mid- <laughs> a little midnight <laughs> snack or something during the night, just <laughs> jump in while you're eating. Uh, yeah, it's 11 o'clock, Saturday the 19th, and we're going to do 12 hours of fucking madness, hopefully, uh, and survive. I did well, speak to the Misfits, Kira, the Misfits. Kira's going to be joining us as well. Uh, I spoke to Kira and I said, they, the Misfits did 12 hours. And um, I said, ask <laughs> the Misfits what... What was that was like? And he said, mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I was again. there most of it with him. <laughs> yeah. Harley did 50. How, how many hours, Harley? 50. Uh, I don't know. It all blur. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it was 54. It, 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 would, it would definitely a blur when I get on that. <laughs> That's how we come, mate. So the best one wore at all. We, we did like a, um, a spirit box thing about five o'clock in the morning, didn't we? <laughs> and Ollie went, this is no word of a lie, you can go back and watch this. It, it, Ollie didn't know who I was, he didn't know my brother or anything, and he went, who is Aiden's brother? And the spirit box went, Mark. Ooh. Did it or did it not? Yeah. Wow. That was weird, that. It was, it was a crazy three days, I think, was it? Three days? It was crazy. Uh, I yeah. remember that he was falling asleep at the last day. <laughs> he was, he'd stayed up the whole time the last day, and he's, I think he, your son was in the background lying on the couch. And he's watching me. He'd about an hour to go. You're going to fail. You're going to fail that brick look at him. Me and Mrs. S are sitting on the phone going, Wake him up! Wake him up! <laughs> and the boy's like, <laughs> Gives him a shake. Hey, wake up. He, he read a minute, we're going to do it with me. And then. But there was one night where we were up till about three o'clock in the morning with me. And I think the first night, like, for, like I'm saying, I'm saying up with you. I'm like, all right, fair enough. There's one like, come to bed. And I'm like, no, if he wants to stay up, let him stay up. And it was like three o'clock in the morning. I looked at him, he was fast asleep. I woke up, I do come on, bedtime now. Bless him. <laughs> he, did, he did great. But one thing I'd like to say, by the way, the vaping community as a whole has been absolutely fantastic in putting up with my fucking harassment messages and stuff like that, Flat Cap and Aiden and Jules and uh, oh, tons of people. I can't I'd be here all day mentioning them. They've messaged a lot of people and they've all been absolutely fantastic trying to accommodate us in our fucking psychotic to, to be honest with you, the, the, the vape community, as a whole, even the people who don't sort of get on, even mm. them, the people who, they're, they're good as well. They, a lot yep. of people do a hell of a lot of charity. Um work within the community and it, it, ever since I've been involved in it we've always done it and it, the amounts that you raise and I and I know you've said this yourself even if it's a quid or even if you just share that link I know it's very very hard it's, it's like the week before Christmas everybody is tight but even yes. if it's a pound if we if we if we had I don't know there's 100 people on here if everybody puts a pound and then you can say quid? It, yeah. it, it, it makes it makes a, a bit of a difference it is very it very hard Right, I'm going to try and press. Roll it. I've got no chat on this side, but I've got eligible users of 55 eligible users. So let's see what happens. I'm going to press roll it. Roll it and see what happens. Yay! Did it work? It worked. Ooh. It is Richard Shuren. Did it come up? Yes, it has. Yeah, Richard Shen. Is that how you say it, Shen? Gene? Do you want it, you? mate? Let me know if you want it. Because if not, I'll have to roll it again. I know if you keep, keep, keep talking, you're right. I know if you're going to do is get in touch with the little bro vapes um, at gmail.com and we will short, short it all where. Can I share Sounded a picture? Like... Can I share a picture? Yeah, of course you can, yeah. Right. This is uh, something I found. I found a show. Looking back, there's tons of charity events that have happened, as you know. Over the years, and I don't know about them. Some fa- when I was doing research and stuff like that, I found some stuff. I was watching a video. You'll you all know this. You'll probably know this. Uh, have you seen this? <laughs> we had a naked Vic. <laughs> yes, I remember that. I was like, "What the fuck?" I watched this show. I was like, "My God, I didn't." I, that's amazing. Amazing. <laughs> 
He seems I, so quiet. I think anyway, should... I, wanted to, I wanted to share that because I was like, that's this kind of stuff. I thought we were out there, but fuck me. If he's ghosting, <laughs> he won't be ghosting for long. No. <laughs> to no. <see> that. <laughs> that was a good show. I watched, I watched most of it. But there's tons of stuff out there like that. The Vietnam community has done um, tons for charity. Tons for charity. I think that was Devil Vapor's charity fundraiser, wasn't it? You just said that, yeah. It was a ca- mm. charity show everyone done for his dad. For his dad, yeah. Right. Yeah. That was very good. Very good show. I'm not sure if I still put the vocals on the shell. So I, I, yeah, I did, yeah. I put the vocals on. There we go. Um, that is the actual thumbnail. It's got everything on there. So remember, Saturday, the 19th of December, which is this Saturday, starts at 11 p.m. Straight away after the Christmas special. Again, one of Gaz's last shows, because yep. he's on every show. <laughs> uh, I was only joking there, bro. Um, it Damn. is his last show on the Saturday night, <laughs> Vapor Way. Um, you've got the wonderful Devil Vapor on as well, haven't you? Dean and Vape Don't Smoke. Vape, I'm, I'm my mm. mate. And you didn't even invite me. I can't believe it. I oh, know. It was a very expensive show for them to get on. Oh, mate, I'll do it for a packet of crisps. You, you're welcome on Aiden. You all, you're you all welcome. All, all, all of you. I mean, Skin, I suppose you've got your show, but you, yeah, everyone's welcome on. Um, yeah, we've never had either, either of them on before, so it's going to be really good fun. Oh, right, it'd be a good giggle. Both of them two will be on. It'd be a good giggle. Uh, also, uh, straight away after that, then at 11 o'clock, the, the madness starts. So really, you're just a fluffer show for, for them to, on Saturday. We are. He's <laughs> yeah. yeah. a, a warm-up act. We're the cheerleaders. Mm. I think you're you're coming on BVL after it, aren't you? You're coming on the the charity stream, are you? After Saturday night vapor, I think you and Pudnut are coming on. Yeah. 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 You'll be on anyway. Yeah. I'm on. I'll be there. Yeah, I'll be there. Yep. Absolutely. Good stuff. I'd do it for half a packet of quavers. I, I love a pack of quavers <laughs> now and again. I'll buy you a pint at the BVL pub, Eden. See ya. Uh, Double vapor says he's still waiting for his uh, other half of his thousand. <laughs> I'm waiting for my rebate from Vic. Yeah. Either that or your rebate from Vaporesso. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think they want money from me, to be fair. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it's been another fabulous Wednesday night. Thank you so much. All the support we get in chat and the people on the replay, make sure you join us. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. So it comes to that point of the evening, we have to say our goodbyes. Don't forget, it is Benny Vapes' show after us. Also, a little bit later on, Chunk's on, so make sure you go and check him out. Say your goodbyes, Harley. Hi. <laughs> Sorry I disappeared a minute ago. Um, it's been great, chat. It's been great. Skin, it's been great. Aiden, it's been great. Flat cap. Discount codes are on, so from now till midnight, you'll get 25% off site-wide across vapemill.co.uk, except from on sale items. And tomorrow you get 30% off if you use free men 30. That's 30% off on all e-liquid. It's been a pleasure, everybody. You lot watching in replay, because I know you are. Make sure you comment down below and I'll read your name out and possibly your comment next week. It's been delightful. Good luck on Saturday, you skint vapor. Thank you very much. And uh, see you all. What, you, what do you mean, good luck on Saturday? I take it, are you tell me you're going to your bed, you're not joining us at all. Um, we'll I, I see. <laughs> spotlight. I, I yeah. don't ever know what I'm doing. I just, I just wake up and go, uh, yeah, yeah and maybe. He's going to be too busy on his Excel spreadsheets. He's yeah. Not. Lots of graphs to be drawn these days. There's yeah, lots of data enough. playing about. Yeah. <laughs> no, you did your time, mate, with 52 hours or 53 hours. I'm sure I'll be knocking about somewhere. Good stuff. Over to the wonderful flat cap. Yeah, thanks to all you lovely people in chat. Thank you so well much done, for, for another another very busy show. Congrats to Richard as well and Liz for winning this week. Well done. Big thanks to everyone getting over the Facebook group and uh, getting their mates to join in. So well done, everyone. Thanks, Matt, as well. You did a great job of organising that. Thank you, buddy. Um, yeah, Mr. Skin, good luck with the show this weekend, mate. I'm, I'm sure it's been a nightmare to organise, but uh, I'm glad you st- <laughs> you still got something together. That's really, really good. And Aiden, Harley, love you boys lots. See you all next week. Skin, say goodbyes, brother. Massive thank you, you guys, for having me on. Um, it's been a blast, as usual. It goes so fast in this show. So fast. A lot faster than BBL, which is torture with those uh, other <laughs> assholes that I'm on there with. <laughs> These guys are lovely. And flat cap, you bastard for leaving us, but sorry, no, I'll never forgive you. I'll still, uh, be, I'll still be around. I'm still. Yes, here. you will. Yeah, you will. Yeah, just uh, not on every show, every day. <laughs> will not let you go. Yeah. Uh, and thank you very much, chat, and everybody that's supporting this charity event. We'll see you on Saturday at uh, eleven o'clock, half past eleven. It was half past nine. I was going to say eleven o'clock. Eleven o'clock. <laughs>
Thank you very much, Aiden. Your super Big star. love. Big love to everybody in chat. Thank you so much for joining us once again. Your support is amazing. Thank you very much to all the spanners that have, have helped out today. You've been absolute stars. All the people who are on the replay, you mean so much to us as well. Make sure you leave us a comment down below and we will read it out next week. Make sure you check out Saturday uh, 11 o'clock. Well, make sure you check out the lads as well on the Saturday Night Vaporway. It is, is Gaz's last show on there. Make sure you check out the live stream. It's going on for 12 hours. Pop in, pop out. If you can afford a pound, even if you can't afford it, just spread that link out. Get that shared out. That means a lot as well. So yes. make sure you're there on the Saturday. This has been another Three Men and a Vape show. Make sure you join us next week. It is our Christmas special. There's going to be lots of giggles, lots of beer flowing because Flat Cap has said that he's definitely going to have a beer because it's his last show and it is the 23rd. Harley is going to just have orange juice. <laughs> in a bottle <laughs> Harley wanted bottle <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you join us next week it's going to be a damn old giggle and I think that is the last show until the 6th of January where we will have a, a new caster yes we will have I'll a new a caster in chat. yes <laughs> oh poor it sounds horrible say so far why are you still here wait till he's gone yeah <laughs> <laughs> the, the, there'll be shitloads of teachers knocking about. There will, yeah. <laughs> we, to be honest with you, he's actually the new host. That's if he gets back from Tesco's in time. He was supposed <laughs> to be waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Big love to everybody. Look at yourself. Get yourself over to Benny. Good night to people. And I love this outro. Uh, it makes me happy. Stay for the outro. Ooh, jolly, Good night. Jolly one. Piss blast. Oh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you trying to kill him? I do like that outro. It does make me smile. That is nice. It, it, Thank you for tuning in. Good night. Good night. Good night for everybody. What Thank you from Vapor Whistle. And we're gone. <laughs>